One of the early projects I did with the BBC Microbit was to write a driver for the standard LCD screen you get with Arduinos and uh, similar sort of projects. I thought it would be interesting to be able to, 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 to drive these things using something as simple as a Microbit. It's been on their website for a while and a number of people have emailed me asking about the wiring for it because it is a bit of a bird's nest but it is straight, fairly straightforward if you uh, if you follow the diagram here. Um, in essence what we're doing is removing this set of dip switches with the micro bit. So if we look at the wiring, the board itself has 16 pins and I've got them running from top to bottom, 1 to 16. The first two pins you can see at the end here and here, these are um, pin 1 and pin 2 which is the voltage ground and positive for the voltage coming in. That's actually connected to an external power supply on mine which is feeding the um, LCD screen with 5 volts. Moving down the line we've got pin 3. Pin 3 is labelled VE and it goes through a variable resistor. On mine I've just run it through two uh, 1K resistors, so 2K resistor in, in essence. And it's just the, um, the amount you need to make sure that the screen here uh, is visible. It's the contrast and you, you can adjust that as you see fit. Pin 4, the RS pin, as we go through here, pin 4 on mine, I've just run straight through to uh, a 1K resistor and straight to ground. And RS is also connected to pin 12 on my micro bit. Moving along, we've got RW. Again, RW is going straight through 1K resistor and pin 6, which is uh, the enable button going through there that's going through a 10k resistor and sorry a 1k resistor uh, connected to pin 10 the next pins 7 through 14 here these are what are known as d0 to d7 these are the pins that actually send the data to the lcd screen and i've got these labeled here for which pins i'm using them on my micro bit and the last two pins 15 and 16 these two here they're also positive and ground running back on, on, onto the ground rail of the uh, breadboard you do need to remember on the, just about make it out on this side here on the ground side of the micro bit that you actually ground the micro bit itself to the board so that the whole lot is, is interconnected and you can see I'll just move around there a little bit that I'm running the, the basic program, the temperature sensor, so it's reading the temperature sensor and displaying on the screen. Now, if you use uh, the Moo and you use the REPL on the Moo, you do have the ability to connect to the micro bit and change the screen with the built in functions. So, we're going to give that a bash now. So, I shall plug in my micro bit. My micro bit is plugged in, I'll zoom out a little bit on the camera. And I shall launch the ripple. And to control my micro bit and then control the LCD screen, there's a number of basic functions I need to use. The first function initializes the board. So init underscore board. Oops. Oh dear. There we go board rs and pins now these are two global variables you could write it i'm sure you could modify it so it's not using global variables it was a a quick workaround for a proof of concept so if i hit enter you'll see the board and the screen is back to a flashing cursor i can then use the command send chars send it the opposition of RS, send it the pins, and send it the message that you want to send. Micro bits and oops. Press enter and we should see it come up on the screen. There we go. And finally one last command. Hold faithful. Clear screen. RS with pins press enter and the screen has been cleared 
we can send the command again rs pins and I'm going to send some numbers just to show that the character maps are all there there we go if you've got any more questions about the LCD screen feel free to to contact me via the website or you can contact me on Twitter at Mr. D. Burin. Thank you very much for watching and if you take a look on the website for more project ideas.